These are our black and gold howler monkeys. Uh, the black ones are male. This is Mowgli. He's 19 years old. These are his daughters, Vita and Garcia. They are uh, 14 and 15, respectively. So I'm giving these guys peanuts today. These guys do eat, um, they're leaf eaters, so they will eat just about um, any leaf you can imagine. Um, they, like, they prefer new leaves, which are young, budding leaves that have just started to grow. So these guys are from South America. Uh, these, uh, there are nine species of howlers, and these are the uh, southernmost. Um, they can be found the farthest south. These guys have what's called a prehensile tail, and you can see she's hanging from the, um, the cage wire there with her tail. Um, these guys can support their whole entire weight with their tail, although they rarely do that. Um, and that is a unique trait to South American primates. Um, we give rotational items several times um, a week, and Thursdays are um, hard-boiled egg days. Um, and these guys really enjoy that. And actually, it's very recently been discovered that these guys will eat eggs in the wild. Um, previously, it was not thought that they did that. They thought they, um, they just ate leaves. Um, but it has been discovered that they will eat eggs in the wild. So we were kind of comforted by that because these guys love egg day. <laughs> um, and these guys in, in uh, the wild will live in a tree for a day. And so first thing in the morning, they'll do their howling call. So that, uh, the howling call that they do in the first thing in the morning, it's um, not what you would think. Most people, when you think of a howling, you think of like coyotes wolves, a real high-pitched haunting sound, um, and these guys sound actually more like a Gregorian chant. It's a real low-pitched growly sound. Um, every morning they do this, and this is because um, leaves don't give you a lot of energy, so they don't like to expend a lot of energy, so they don't want to have to fight over their trees. So first thing in the morning they do this call. It's usually done around 4 a.m. or just before dawn, and uh, the call allows all the other howlers in the area to know where they're coming from and where they are, and uh, so they can avoid each other. These guys, because they um, have, they eat greens and so they don't get a lot of energy, uh, they spend most of their time, about 85% of their waking time, resting or um, sleeping. Um, and that is because they just don't, they don't have the energy and they don't have to hunt for their food. Um, they, they get in a tree and they just eat as much as they can and then they spend the rest of the time resting. So these guys are all born gold like the females. And then at two and a half years of age, um, at sexual maturity, the males will turn black. And that's also a very good visual cue for the females to know when, the, when their sons are um, old enough. And also for females that are looking for mates to tell when, when a male is appropriate um, for them.